The law of the... Okay, so we're back. Final sin. I think a lot of the music crapped out last time. Because this is sick. Some of the best stuff about Doom is its music. And last night I think a lot of the music just disappeared and you don't want that when you've been spending so much money on somebody uh, like a composer to do some sick shit and then you're just like oh it's all crapped out because bugs because no one bug tested it thoroughly enough imagine and it does affect it it really does like you know by the time you watch this, I'm going to assume if you're watching them chronologically, you've seen the boss fight that I had to deal with, where like everything was missing. And like there were massive spawning errors in that. So I went and checked afterwards. Spawning errors, uh, gameplay errors, some effects just missing, like. The floor was suddenly lava if you look back to that plate that can't make a fight. And it's supposed to like this some sort of like bark or some sort of effect is surely supposed to happen, not just oh look the floor's lava, fuck you. <laughs> you know, stuff's supposed to happen. Now this guy is loaded up faster than when I did it the other time. I cut it, but I was gonna start last night this one and then I thought nah you know what like I'll do it later wow fuck me I can't hit things with you cool ah oh, fuck you that stun time ain't very big on him. Or maybe I'm just slow. Uh, righty ho. I get too focused on those guys when they start flashing. I'm like, no, I've got to kill them, and then I get take stupid damage. You were in a stun state before, what the fuck happened? Just a lot of foot soldiers, so it seems more chaotic than it is. It's just killing this guy at the moment that's a big problem. And I think it's saved from my checkpoint that we were at before, so... Um, you know what? I, it did. Mmm, this is going to be an editing nightmare. So I don't have any editing software. I guess I have to deal with that at some point, though. <laughs> nice. Never seen that happen before. <clears throat> So it loaded up my old checkpoint rather than like starting me at the beginning of the level. Yeah, because you start off over there. So, yeah. Future me is going to hate this. But there's another one of these guys. Yeah, no, yeah. It hasn't loaded me at the beginning.
Oh. Out of ammo. <clears throat> it just didn't change because it still had the full overheat stack. You'll notice I switch between modded and unmodded on this a lot. That's because of the movement speed and because of the overheat. Although it's supposed to have faster cooling, so it shouldn't overheat. That's great and all. Where's the guy? Captain Floaty. Yeah, the grenade killed him. That might have been underwhelming for everybody. So... don't think there's anything left here. Oh, there's an auto map. It's a bit finicky there if you if I hadn't spoken about it before. Uh, oh yeah, those fill up the blood punch look. Huh. So I guess I'm going over here. Ah, oh, good. I was really expecting to take damage on him. Is that it? Huh. Oh, there's only one secret by the look of it, so... I guess then. This, this spawning is just not great. The spawn is like, oh, we're spawning you into an area of effect attacks, straight into the face of an enemy that's way too big for you to be dealing at close range. It's just not great. Doing better though. I broke things. Take that, PCs. really confused about the UAC's role in this. Uh, like, you know, were the guys on Mars who you stole the BFG from, were they UAC? Or are they a different faction altogether? Are they ARC? Uh, 
that took a while to ping. I may do a lore episode, because I am confused, and some of the messages this game is giving as subtext are a little weird and convoluted and confusing, because I don't think they were, like, they were just like, oh yeah, this will be a good idea, alien race, and you're like, yeah, but, like, why? <laughs> like, why is he a sentinel now? Why is he not a human? Are human sentinels? <clears throat> Why are they different? How are they different? Why are they all dead? I'm confused. Oh, he, they got betrayed by somebody who just had a lot of Christ imagery going on. Oh, that doesn't really cut it very well. <laughs> That's just like a lazy explanation. Look, the person, bad. Betray them. I'm just like, oh. a lot of grenades, don't I? A lot of grenades. Oh, I just stay up in it. quick. Just saw a guy moving to the left, but it's just an imp. Oh, there we go. Looks like there should be a big guy around here. Jeez, kitty. Well, fuck me, I guess. Felt like I wasn't supposed to find that buff totem so quickly. There's a lot of guys coming in. At least the music's playing again. I don't know if it's being picked up on this, but the music in this is fucking awesome. Okay, so how do we get in there? Because I saw a blue orb and I want the blue, I want the blob. It's not really an orb. It is, but... Do I fall down on it? That's annoying. Hmm. 
now on. Sorry, I don't, I'm not understanding. Oh, I am a level up. Okay. guys. Especially as I miss every fucking hit. Okay, you can stop bugging out now. Come on. chainsaw him, but I pressed the wrong button. What's these guys deals? I'm gonna have to read some lore because it's like are these ex sentinels that have been corrupted. What's their deal? Probably are right. Yeah, they teleport through me and then hit me from behind. Shit, so skillful. Scammy, bullshit, skillful guys. Fuck you. Hell look, he teleported behind me, guys. Skill. Great skill. You were better when you were actually like mildly fair but challenging. Now you're just rushing by me the whole time and punishing me for being in first person. Ugh. So a great way to use the backdashing mechanic, don't get me wrong, but when it's like Oh look, he's just teleporting with a massive teleport range behind me and then hitting me a bunch of times because my turn radius is this. It's a bit like, okay, you're just being a dick now. I didn't go back and get the blob. Mm. I'm going to keep going forwards and probably regret it later. 
Fuck me, I guess. Don't rely on the meat hook, it will sometimes just not work if you're falling too quickly. So you saw the I saw the little like hook reticle underneath move to them and it just went, nope, I changed my mind. Not being funny, but like it seems to me Earth couldn't be doing much worse. Let's just let's just watch these guys. Ah, oh, okay. That was really lame way. That's a lame death. I read a thing recently that actually, like, in terms of psychology, when people are shot, apparently a lot of people fall over when they're shot just because they think that's what you're supposed to do when you get shot. Because in popular media, you're often seen as like the people will fall down when they're shot, and it's because it's like for drama reasons a lot of the time they will fall down. And actually, realistically, being shot is such a small impact if it's from like a small pistol round that you would often be able to just say stood up and it's the falling down and the relevant blood loss the rel related blood loss and shock and damage you do from falling down after being shot that's actually probably like makes a lot of cases worse than if you just been ah oh, i got shot and you just stayed upwards upright not like oh if you get shot by a shotgun, it's what's falling down is what's going to kill you because that means every time we fell down, we would get, <laughs> probably get murdered. No, that would be ridiculous. But I read this thing and I was like, is that true that, like, I haven't been shot. I've been shot in paintballing and airsofting and a bunch of things like that. And I have to admit, it takes a lot to knock a human being over. People don't realize that, like... Um... It's not as simple as just like, oh, I shot you with a bullet, that's enough force to send you flying backwards. You just get shot and you go, oh, well, I've been shot. <laughs> like, you see it in cop shows and stuff all the time. It's not great, but in most cases it's you got shot and you're like, oh, well, I'm, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, this is bad. You can carry on moving, kind of. Gonna have to dramatically keel over backwards and go no in slow motion and all this shit. I read a lot of things like you'd be amazed with a lot of things that humans do, which is just because they're expected to do it. And I'm not just talking like tradition. It's like it's just their brain tells them, oh yeah, like the done thing in this situation is you fall over when you get shot, or like addiction works this way and your brain goes oh addiction works this way okay the whole concept that you have a limited amount of resistance to um savory fixing that was a weird shop name whatever this was i like the environments it's just a shame sometimes i've been having a lot of visual errors with them see him. Just grenade everything, grenade all day. I guess. I saw the healths, but the healths were in the wrong place. I'll just eat one of my Italian chocolate biscuits that I got. So my school that I'm currently at, that I'm moving from because they're paying me shit, paid me shit today. Oh. Oh. And it was the most elaborate power move ever. I went and spent the entire 1,000 RMB, which is about 100 pounds. 1,300 RMB for a month's work. So 130 pounds. Because I'm not doing anything because I'm not at school. Even though I'm doing a part-time job. 
working for them in online classes. Apparently my time is worthless, so I got another job. As the most bizarre power move ever, I went to what is essentially the Chinese equivalent of Marks and Spencer's food and spent the entire paycheck on groceries. To basically just say, fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna get back that orb because I'm now at 96 health. Or apparently, fuck me. Seriously, I'm going to the sides here. Thank you. Yeah, so I spent 1,100 Kwai on what is essentially expensive Italian origin and Spain and France origin breads, foods, uh, biscuits, uh, craft beer, and just shit I missed. Good brie, good set of Nuremberg Wurst, um, a load of pasta that's Italian origin, uh, some hot sauce, I think it's called Valentina. It was a bigger bottle of Valentina, it was, um, what happened there? I kind of got stuck on nothing there, I got stuck in geometry and I was like, um, sir? <laughs> Gotta use my brain, but I don't have one. Uh, stuck again. Oh, okay. I don't think it wanted me to go back. Oh, oh, nasty. Last half of this. Oh, the frame rate. Oh, is. See, look, oh, the gate didn't break. Gate didn't break. Oh, no. The final half of this game, no, not even the final half, the last two missions of this game are some of the most disappointing game play. Some of the most disappointing gameplay I've had in a long time. And it's really sad because I love Doom so much. And, like, like it's not broken a load of love. Like, it's not really a secret if the game just progression bugs you and you can't get back to pick up the thing. Oh, no. It's just made me sad. It's made me very sad. Because, like, this game had the potential and is awesome. And then at the end, they just stop playtesting it, I feel. And they were just like, ah, oh, fuck it, who cares? No one's paying attention now. And you're just like, oh, why? I'm still trying to work out. So it's possessed soldiers versus zombies and demons for some reason, even though they're all possessed. I mean, it's got great visual art. It's got great movement and feel. And it just shits the bed right at the last minute with some of these bugs and it's like I'm on a PS4 Pro uh, I don't know if it's the platform and the rendering or like the whatever did they have you know the other PC they don't have to take as many shortcuts to fit it on the processors power thing whatever high tech words jargon being used that was a bit of a janky stagger he had as well I'm going over here, aren't I? Like this whole, like, look at this, like, key, like, the visual art, you could, like, this is, like, a great skybox. It's awesome. It's just ignoring my meat hook now, for some reason. Um... I'll stop doing that. Just kill the high damaging thing. Kill all of the big enemies. The small enemies are hardly a problem. That was a terrible idea. It's 
see a health kit. Fuck you. Yeah. Straight into the enemy. Terrible idea. I don't really like this gun. It's just the slow rate of fire is not doing it for me. I'm more about just spraying ammo at everything. It's good for accuracy. Pick up all the the pickups. Pick up the pickups. Don't stand in the way of the big big laser or the guardrail. I don't want to use. If you're wondering, like, yeah, I've got two BFG ammo. I'm aware, and I've got like crucible ammo, but I kind of don't want to use it in case I need it. You know, because after that, can't make a fight where I went in with nothing and it punished me for it like it's a su suddenly a survival horror game <laughs> it's just like fuck you just deal I don't want to go through that again because that really fucking burned me I was upset man like genuinely disappointed I don't normally get so triggered it's like oh haha the game's bad but I'm like no you can't fuck up doom I like doom <laughs> okay I pretend I played Doom Free. I tried to enjoy Doom Free. It was fine. I just didn't really like it. The guns felt kind of shit. <laughs> like, it just didn't feel awesome. Um, and like that really put me off for the franchise for a while. Then I was like, oh, they're doing really well, and now it's just turned it into the standard Bethesda thing of what's bug testing. Everything can clip into everything else. Who gives a fuck? They'll buy it anyway. So yeah, you didn't learn from Fallout 76 then. Making everything shit doesn't mean everyone's gonna love you for it. Now luckily, this isn't by any means shit. But I'm like, if this is the, this is the theme from now on, I am gonna get really pissed off, you know? If it's gonna start being like... We're gradually eroding your faith on every single thing. You know, oh, we have Fallout. Fallout's good. Did you try Fallout 3? Great. Did you try New Vegas? Great. Did you do... Oh, they're gradually becoming shit. <laughs> With more and more bugs that are just unapologetic. And it's like, oh, Doom. Doom's fucking awesome. 2016's really awesome. Oh, yeah, okay, we're going to gradually make it worse now until it's at Fallout 76 level, I am literally just going to go, fuck you. <laughs> like, you know. Ow. Really got to pay attention to my ammo levels. Even at max ammo in this game, you've not really got enough. He can shoot me through the glass. Shoot the glass. It's got a surprisingly fast side dash as well. They are called the Tyrant. I looked them up. Ah. Bad. That was bad. Uh. Green, I thought was the armor shard. Cool. Ah, oh. 
<laughs> Just for there to be another one. Just for there to be a buff totem. Um, buff totem. Oh, buff totem. Oh, there you are. Come to me, little buff totem. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? use this I can <laughs> amazing but then there's just another one it's time to get the feeling that you guys are there's a lot of you <laughs> at least da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. This one. I seen that one for a while. Oh. Oh, you guys are a problem. Finding that the lock-on burst is kind of locking onto the things I don't want it to lock onto a lot of the time, which does mean sometimes it's better for me to just that's that. That's the end of that chapter. Um. Da, da, na, na. Shne, ma, ma. Oh look. Okay, I'm glad I came back to do this rather than doing it and rushing it last night because I was in a bad mood. I was sleepy and I was not playing very well because I was already pretty tilted. But I don't get mad at video games very often so that says a lot that I was mad. I was mad at the video game. And I'm never mad at the video game. I think the last time I was mad at the video game was because I was playing a Japanese version. Oh, hello. Oh, great. Nice, you can hook into that. How has it taken me to the end of the game to work, obviously work out this basic thing? Oh. Friend? <laughs> Wall is friend. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, the last time I got mad at a video game, I was playing the Japanese... I got the PlayStation Mini, the classic mini thing. But... I bought it off a Chinese website because I live in China and I've said it a few times but uh, yeah in case you didn't know uh, I live in China and you're not really video games are hard banned unless 
they're not and there's like if you buy a playstation 4 and all of the shit here it's all like hard locked out of the rest of the world and anything with blood or skeletons or anything is basically banned but like the standard is ban and then allow if you is the exception and people don't really realize that that's how china works but like anyway the websites though some websites will sell you like this stuff because it's not very well regulated so you, I have the Japanese version of a lot of stuff and I know a lot of weebs <laughs> who would be like oh my god you get the Japanese version of everything it's superior no it's not <laughs> like you know the Japanese PlayStation Mini does not have Rayman or Abe's Odyssey or Twisted Metal or Siphon Filter <laughs> it has like stuff that didn't come out in Japan uh, didn't come out in Europe and was popular in Japan and in Japanese. So, like, you got Final Fantasy VII on there, but it has no language option, and it's in Japanese, hiragana. I can't read any form of Japanese, so I was just like, wow, this is worthless. <laughs> like, you know, unless I kind of learn Japanese. And I mean, you're learning, like, Final Fantasy terms, you know, like, lore items and, like, spells and shit, you know, abilities in Japanese. Oh, fuck's sake. I got distracted by... Uh, so I played the I played the Japanese version of Metal Gear Solid and yeah, <laughs> that's almost indecipherable if you don't speak the language. You can still play it, and I kind of understood what was happening, but the Japanese version of Murph is not Murph, so it's like, it was a waste of time. <laughs> like, you know, I was like, well, what's the fucking point if I can't hit Murph? <laughs> like, <laughs> what's this shit anyway? This, oh, you, you can't have the lives. Um, yeah, so that was uh, a thing. That was sure a thing. Spammy Muldoon over here. This isn't free. Let me... Uh, let me nothing. Go find a zombie to slice. Or not. Okay, that was a waste of everybody's time and I'm gonna go and die with my 12 health. lucky that was lucky so I screenshotted a few things from my uh, experiences on my Instagram uh, including from my Japanese my pure Japanese elitist experience of the original Metal Gear Solid game including that the health bar for Ocelot they have the name and they call it <laughs> it's literally written Ocelot with an R and I was like you telling me that that was like a is that a spelling mistake or is that how they spell his name in Japanese? I don't know how to handle that. Like, Ocelot's an animal and he's named after the animal. It should be. Well, fuck me, I guess. This guy is the biggest fucking problem. Fall to the art bar before it finishes as soon as you kill the sun.